Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we've got a great one for you today. We've got some images there. When you hover over them, they're going to zoom out, but they're going to contain themselves within the actual column. And you can click on them and open them in a light box or go to any URL on the web that you want to. This is an absolutely awesome feature to have on your desktop website. Really easy to do. So let's get started. So here's our site. I've got three little images at the top when I hover over one. It's going to zoom in, as you can see. I've got it zooming into twice the size, but it's containing it within its column that it's in. And when we click on it, of course, you can open it into a light box, all the usual things that you can do there. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I've got mine open with my Elementor page builder right here. So let's start from scratch. I'm going to start a new section here, a little plus icon to add a new section. I'm going to throw three columns in mine, little plus. There's the three columns. And if we go to our matrix, I'm going to add a little image module. There we go, right there. Fantastic. Choose whatever image it is you want to put in yours. I guess I'll use the same ones as I had before. Great, so we've got that in there now. Let's just give this section a little bit of breathing room. I'm gonna hit the little dots up there to go to the section itself. Over to advanced, I'm gonna give it a bit of padding all around. Let's just give it 50 pixels so it's got a bit of space. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna write a bit of CSS to do this. Well, we're gonna be using a bit of custom CSS today to do this. Don't let that scare you or put you off. It's really easy to do. CSS is magic. And if you do something you don't like, just delete it. It'll go back to the way it was. You can't break your site with it, which is the great thing. I'm using the pro version of Elementor to do mine today. So I've got a little custom CSS box right there on the page. If you're using the free version, you can do it in the additional CSS panel of your WordPress site. Most of those will have a little additional CSS panel. Usually you can find it down in your dashboard, down in appearance and in the customizer and it's usually right at the bottom there. If your theme doesn't have that, have a look at the documentation. Most WordPress themes have that feature. Um, if not, there's a little lightweight plugin I'm sure you can add to our custom CSS. So let's get back to the bill. So I'm gonna click on my little image here. I'm gonna go over to the advanced. If I roll down to the bottom of the mind, I've got a little custom CSS panel here. I'm using the pro version. If you're not using the pro version, you can do this in your additional CSS panel. I'm using the free Hello theme from Elementor. But most WordPress themes have an additional CSS panel. You find it in your dashboard, appearance, customize, and there it is at the bottom. You can write your code there just as easily. If your theme doesn't have this, have a look at your documentation. Usually there's somewhere to put a custom CSS in. Okay. Let's go back to the page and we'll write some CSS. I'm going to invent a class name to create this little effect right here. All class names have a dot or a period in front. So I'm going to say dot. I'm going to say IMG. CM for my little shorthand for image zoom. You can call yours what you want. It wants to be unique. I like mine to make a little sense to me as well if I see it. I've opened and closed some curly brackets there. I'm going to give them a bit of space. We start writing our code okay initially when the mouse is not on it i want it to be regular size so i'm going to say transform colon scale right at the end of scale with no gap we can put some round brackets i'm going to put a one that means it's 100 percent or regular size when they hover over it i want it to be twice the size so i'm going to copy this Control c i'm going to drop down Right after the M of IMGZM, I'm going to put a colon, no gap there, and the word hover. We've now just created a hover state. I'm going to change that to a 2. So it's 200% or twice as big. Now you won't actually see anything happen until we apply this class name to this image. And we're already in the image as you can see up here. So if I go up to the top, Let's just copy this class thing without the dot. When you're writing it, you need a dot in front. When you're applying it, you don't need that dot. So I'm going to copy that in the layout at the top. If we roll down, 
Here's CSS ID in classes. Make sure you put it in classes there. I'm going to paste it in there. Now when I hover over, watch what happens. It sort of jumped up to twice the size, which is all very good. But of course, I don't want to see that whole image taking over everything. I just want it to be contained within the actual column that it's sitting in there. So let's go back down to our custom CSS at the bottom here. I'm going to invent another class which will apply to the column that it's sitting in. So remember when you're writing it, it has a dot or a period in front. I'm going to call mine IM for image, COL for column. Again, call yours what you want, but it wants to be unique. Okay, I'm going to open and close some more curly brackets here. And in between, I'm going to hide any overflow for that column. So I'm going to say overflow, colon hidden. And what overflow is, it's anything that falls outside of the normal footprint of this column. And again, you won't see anything happen until we apply that class there. But I also want to add a bit of a margin so that if you've got three in a row, you've got a bit of separation there. So let's add a little margin there. I'm going to say margin. Let's say 10 pixels, adjust to your taste, obviously. I'm going to go into the actual column itself now. I'm going to go over to advanced. Make sure there's no margin actually in there already. So I'm going to put a zero in there. I'm going to put a zero in for the padding too. Great. Well, while we're in there, we can apply the class that I just created, which is IMCOL. IMCOL. Now, when I zoom over it, you can see that's zooming in, but it's actually staying inside the column, which is exactly where I want it. But to me, it's sort of just jumping in. It doesn't look very elegant. It's sort of just jumping for twice the size. I'd like it to actually zoom in like this one here. To create that, we just need to give the image a transition duration. So let's click on it. it. Takes us back to the image, as you can see. We'll go back down to our custom CSS. And in the image zoom, the regular state, not the hover state, I'm going to give it a transition duration. Transition. It's prompted us, so you can use that prompt if you want to. I'm going to have mine nice and slow. I'm going to say one second, which would be one S. And you could have, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, whatever you want. But one second is going to work for me. Let's try it now. That's great. Just exactly what I wanted. And while we're in the image, if we go back to the content here, you can decide whether you want to pop it out into a light box or link it to any URL you want. Down here in link, you can link to a media file, which will allow you to pop it out into a light box, which will turn that to yes. Or if you want to link it to anywhere on the web, just put a custom URL in there and type your URL in there. I kind of like mine to pop out into a light box, so I'm going to put mine on media file and set my light box to yes. It's great. So as you can see, when I click on it now, it pops out into that light box. And of course, you don't have to go through all of this again if you want to duplicate it. I find the easiest way to do that is to go down to the navigator down here, the little icon on the left-hand side. We'll bring that one up. Here's our regular image. and We've got two other columns right here. I'm going to right click on that image. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go into the next column. I'm going to paste it in there. I'm going to click on the next column. I'm going to paste it in there also. Then you can just click on the image. Swap it out for the image that you want to put in there. Do the same for this next one. And as you may have noticed, we've got the overflow going on there with these two columns. I'm sure you can figure out how to do that. All we need to do is go into these columns, go over to the advanced and give them that same class, which was IMCOL, I-M-C-O-L. And we'll go into the next one and do exactly the same thing in advanced CSS IDs and classes, I-M-C-O-L. Great. And that should have hidden all the overflow in that one. See a little discrepancy there. Looks like we've got a bit of padding and margin in these. So let's go into these columns. 
put a zero in the margin and padding make sure the chains checked there same with this club and also the image itself we go over to advanced make sure there's no padding in the actual image itself That's better. I think there's no padding by default. Perfect, just exactly what we want. So if I go back to this image, back down to my custom CSS, I will paste this below the video, but I would encourage you to write it out. It's a great thing to learn. Let's go down now and make sure this is gonna work on the front end. So I'm gonna update. I'm going to hit the little eyeball. There's our new three images there. When we hover over, it's going to do that. When I take my mouse off, it's going to go back. And of course, we can pop it out into the light box if you want to. If for anybody wondering the crazy number down there, that's the actual name of the image. These are AI generated images, obviously. I use a site called Knife, Night Cafe. You can find that link below the video for anybody that's interested fantastic just exactly what i wanted so there you have it guys there's how to create a little zoom and contain effect for your little image modules with the elementor really nice feature to have on your desktop sign as i mentioned earlier i'll put that css down below the video but i would encourage you to write your own css you can copy what I've done, make your, up your own class there. Just get in the habit of doing it. It's going to take your editing levels way up to the next level. It really will. And it's a wonderful thing to learn. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please hit like, subscribe and comment below. It's always great to hear from you. And if you enjoyed the horror effects, have a look at our Elementor horror effects playlist. It should appear over here any minute now. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and RedDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.